Hello, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to focus on macOS Sonoma. As you might have heard, Sonoma is the latest version of macOS. Did you know it was named after a wine region in California? It was announced at WWDC in June 2023. Most people who have installed it are running it happily without any problems. However, some people have experienced some issues ranging from difficulty installing it to problems with their Mac running it. So in this video, we're going to run through those issues and show you how to fix them. Before we get to Sonoma issues, there's one thing we have to tell you. Back up your Mac. Yes, you should back up your Mac regularly anyway, but you should definitely back it up before you install a new version of the operating system like Mac OS Sonoma. There's a chance that you could lose data, and if you don't back up your Mac beforehand, you might not get it back. It's best to use Time Machine to back up your Mac before an upgrade, because then it's easy to restore if you want to roll back to Ventura or you need to reinstall Sonoma. But any backup is better than none. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, on to the macOS Sonoma issues. Sonoma won't install. The first issue you might have come across with Sonoma is that it won't install on your Mac. You download it and then nothing happens, or you get an error message. If that happens to you, the first thing to do is check that your Mac is compatible. Not all Macs that run Ventura will run Sonoma. Here's the list of Macs that are compatible with macOS Sonoma. iMac 2019 and later. Mac Pro 2019 and later. iMac Pro 2017. Mac Studio 2022 and later. MacBook Air 2018 and later. Mac Mini 2018 and later. MacBook Pro 2018 and later. If your Mac is on that list, you're all set. It should run Sonoma without any problems. If it's not, then it probably won't run Sonoma and may not even be able to install it. Now that we've confirmed your Mac can install Sonoma, let's take a look at some of the more common issues you might face. Sonoma won't download. If macOS Sonoma won't download, the problem could be at your end, or it could be with Apple's servers. Let's rule out both at the same time. Apple has a status page for all of its services, including update services. The link is in the description. Click on it and look for the Sonoma upgrade server. If you can access the page, then obviously there's nothing wrong with your internet connection. And if the dot next to the upgrade server is green, there's nothing wrong with Apple's servers. If it's red, all you can do is wait for it to be fixed. If you can't access the page, then there may be a problem with your internet connection or browser. But then you're streaming this video, so probably not. Sonoma downloads, but the installation fails. Okay, great. You've downloaded the installer. If the problem is that Sonoma won't install, you can reboot in safe mode. Hold down the shift key on an Intel Mac or hold down the power button on an Apple Silicon Mac and try again. Mac is slow after updating. This is the Mac OS Sonoma issue you've most likely run into. You install it, boot your Mac, and everything seems, well, slower. Part of that is inevitable. Sonoma puts more demand on your Mac's resources than Ventura, and so your Mac may feel a little slower. That doesn't mean there's nothing you can do about it. You can update applications, clear out the junk, free up RAM, run maintenance scripts, manage login items and launch agents, close browser tabs you don't need, quit applications you're not using. All of these things should help speed up your Mac running Sonoma. Don't know how to run maintenance scripts, manage launch agents, or free up RAM? Don't worry, Clean My Mac X has you covered. It can do all of those things with just a few clicks. It can also help you update lots of applications in one go. And best of all, it's free to download. Just click the link in the description. Apps crashing after updating. If you find that apps are crashing after you update to Sonoma, the first thing to do is update them if you haven't done it already. If the app that's crashing is up to date, check with the developer that it's been tested for use with Sonoma. If it has, you may need to reinstall it. Use Clean My Mac X to uninstall it first to make sure you don't leave any files behind. Bluetooth or Wi-Fi not working. There shouldn't be any issues with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi after you update to Sonoma. But if there are, the first step is to switch either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi off and then on again by clicking Control Center in the menu bar, choosing Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and toggling the switch to off, then on again. If that doesn't work, option click the Wi-Fi menu and choose Open Wi-Fi Diagnostics to find out more. For Bluetooth, you can unpair the device that's not working properly and pair it again. And that's it. Those are the main issues you may encounter after upgrading to macOS Sonoma. If you've run into any of those, follow the advice in this video and you should fix them. 
As a last resort, you can boot into recovery mode and reinstall Sonoma. Or if you don't want to run Sonoma anymore, restore from the Time Machine backup and go back to Ventura.